Hello everyone, I hope that you are all doing well. This is me Sayyad Shujatullah. Welcome to Achievers Academy. Today we will be discussing very important chapter of Telangana Economic Survey 2022. That is our the latest survey we are having at this point of time. So we are going to discuss about the first chapter that is the overview. It is a very important chapter and uh, for those students who are actually preparing for group 4 or SI that kind of related uh, examinations if they study only the overview of this particular this chapter number one of the economic survey that will be sufficient but obviously when you are a group 2 aspirant or you are writing group 1 you should be mark my words and remember for sure you should be knowing at least minimum last five years of economic survey okay so basically 2017 we have got our 33 districts you might be aware of this fact so from 2017 to till today whatever the economic surveys we are having all that survey you have to study and the data and the numbers and the initiatives whatever are discussed should be on the tip of your tongue why because understand this point very clearly and keep this in your mind forever in this economic survey the latest economic survey whatever we are having released in 2022 okay obviously containing the data of 2021 but released in 2022 right so means we are talking about the latest survey if you see our latest survey there are almost 15 chapters are there but sustainable development has not been discussed in this particular survey discussed in the last surveys poverty related chapter is not there in this survey discussed in the last surveys urbanization as a separate chapter has not been discussed in this survey has been discussed in the last survey and allied activities of agriculture sector like pisciculture sericulture forestry horticulture they are not discussed at all in depth in this economic survey latest economic survey but has been discussed very elaborately in the last survey for, take for example ship distribution scheme buffalo distribution scheme okay these two are not at all mentioned in this economic survey but were a part of what last surveys in the same way handicrafts and handlooms are not discussed in this survey which are discussed very at good length in the last surveys okay more so ever the mining and quarrying sector has been given in this survey only values are given okay but what are the major minerals what are the minor minerals what are the uh, what what is the mineral which is having highest value to the gsva which is the most abundant uh, mineral we are having and which district is having which uh, mineral in abundant all that has not been discussed in this survey has been discussed in what last surveys so that is why it is very important for a group 2 or group 1 aspirant okay that they have to prepare uh, they have to prepare the last five surveys for sure okay they cannot miss any of it because lot of chapters have which has been a part of this survey is not there in that survey and the chapters which are not there in that survey has been discussed in the subsequent surveys okay apart from values means regular whatever the values will get updated no like growth rates okay like uh, you can see that uh, uh, production of uh, crops like metric tons fine and the contribution to the agriculture sector in the gsva contribution of industrial sector in the gsva so these kind of uh, like uh, uh, per capita income of uh, state so these kind of uh, values which are generally oftenly change over a period of time these values you have to remember of the latest surveys only but whatever the qualitative discussions are there in the last surveys you have to definitely study them and make a short note of it now the question here is very important that uh, uh, sir where are these five surveys how can we just go around uh, all these five surveys so you can make the notes by yourself or you can be a part of achievers academy there you will find the missed chapters which are not there in the economic survey of today uh, like latest economic survey but they are in the previous surveys so you can take enroll in this particular module and you can complete that way also or you can also what uh, find a short notes in in the market if it is available but uh, 
just studying the latest economic survey will not be sufficing anything remember this point even a soil health card scheme has also been not properly discussed Raitu Bandhu, Raitu Bhima is also not properly discussed. Raitu Bandhu Patakam is also not properly discussed in this economic survey. All these were discussed very good, very properly in the last survey. Right? Okay. So stay tuned to the lecture. Okay. Keep the complete focus and be attentive in the class, whatever we are having today. Okay. Because you cannot just uh, uh, like prepare in 5-10 minutes. Okay. You, this surveys require a proper understanding. Lecture will be little bit uh, lengthy only, around 45 minutes like that. That is how the learning process should be. Okay, you have to be attentive all the time What when I am there. Okay, right. So in the overview, very good chapter. Why? Because it gives you the overall understanding of the economy of the Telangana. Okay, how the agriculture sector, industry sector, service sectors are performing what is the gsdp of telangana okay in last year and how it has grown in the latest economic survey in the next year okay it talks about the health sector it talks about the education sector it talks about the transportation sector so economic survey gives you the performance of economy of a particular area basically here the area is telangana that's why we say that economic survey of telangana talks about the performance of the Telangana economy and it also discusses what are the various initiatives taken by the government of Telangana in each of the sectors and how they are performing it also gives you the output also outcome study also means when government of Telangana has actually invested a lot of money in Mission Kakatiya so have we increased the irrigation area or not right when you are increasing the irrigation infrastructure it means you have to have this common thing in sense it is directly proportional that area of irrigation should also increase when you are increasing the irrigation potential right so whether this happened or not so when you are building quantitative things then are you having qualitative things or not right so economic survey also talks about it it also talks about the development of the population also what happened to our per capita income over a period of time whether it has increased or decreased and the good thing about our economic survey and it is also important for the Telangana to know that uh, how uh, at what place we are standing in the country also. So our economic survey also talks about that in so and so sector what is our position with respect to what other states of the country right. So let us go ahead overview the first chapter of economic survey let us discuss fine. So, flow of lecture will be who prepares the budget. Okay. Four themes are mentioned in our economic survey to fight pandemic. Means what are the four important things the government of Telangana has concentrated to come out of the impact of pandemic. So, they have focused on these four areas. So, that also is mentioned. So, we have to learn about them also. GSDP growth rate, per capita income growth and our rankings. Fiscal management, nothing but receipts and expenditure outlay of government. Whether we are having lot of fiscal deficit or less fiscal deficit, what is the problem? Okay, and how we are solving it? Are we, uh, uh, are the Telangana is in debt trap? Or we are having the outstanding liabilities not so big, we can happily manage it. What is the situation with regard to fiscal management of Telangana? Agriculture, we are going to discuss and Raitu Bhima is also mentioned, we will we'll, we'll discuss about it. Industry, you know, TS IPAS is also given. Pradhan Mantri Swanidhi Yojana is also there. Service sector performance also is there in the overview. Health sector facts are given with regard to IMR, MMR, KCR kit, Aryogya Leshmi. These schemes are discussed. Okay. And environment related, some important aspects are there. Education related some aspects are there, soft net, TS Vidya, that things are also mentioned in the economic survey, chapter number one, okay, overview. And 12th, uh, 12th part of our overview of the chapter number one is social welfare in that Dalit Bandhu has also been discussed. So these topics, whatever you are seeing now, these topics are mentioned in the chapter number first of overview of Telangana economic outlook 2022. So I have not gone beyond these topics. Okay, 
not gone beyond the content mentioned in the economic survey because that static data will always be there with you so it is exactly the very precise and concise one of what overview of telangana economic survey outlook 2022 okay fine then who prepared the economic survey or who prepared the budget okay presenting the budget is done by mr harish rao you know might be aware of this fact but who prepared the budget mean it is prepared budget or economic survey of telangana is prepared by planning department so we are having a planning department okay that department in collaboration with kakatiya governance fellows and also center for effective governance of indian states okay very 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 important part they may ask you in the examination which one of the following organization contributes to the preparation of budget and economic survey of telangana so they will give you a b c and option number 1 will be a and b b and c all the above so you will understand that obviously kakatiya governance fellows will not be a part of it but uh, whatever we think no it is not there generally that will be the only answer okay i'm not saying that they are not efficient but i am just saying that we will never imagine that they are also a part of why kakatiya only why not usmania why not telangana university right so that kind of um uh, thing will run in your mind that's why you will make a mistake here so it is very important that you should know this three of them very properly okay now this is the pandemic okay a very good picture that according to me i have placed here so pandemic is actually falling on us so telangana is resisting the pandemic no 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 you cannot impact us this much we are going to what uh, resilient resilient is nothing but we are not actually taking the burden of pandemic not actually taking the impact of pandemic okay so nothing but we are trying to push it also from our side and making our economy to be stable okay and how have we done this we have done this with the help of four important themes resilient economy our economy is a very resilient economy small little bit okay 3 4 months of any kind of disaster like pandemic happens our economy is not such vulnerable economy that will fall down vulnerability means remember this point i will show you example if you are placing the like i just cannot do it okay right and this is called as what vulnerability this is called as vulnerability if i remove my this finger okay the second finger automatically it will fall automatically it will fall right so we are not that vulnerable so our economy is actually on three fingers like actually on what our economy is on three fingers even if i remove one finger also our economy will properly stay it means what our economic resilience economy we are not going to go down or we are not going to go down so badly that our total economy will get disrupted so telangana has a very good resilient economy and more so ever the government of telangana has followed a very prudent fiscal management now we have averted a pandemic we have stopped a pandemic to show its drastic impacts on telangana economy we did not do it by just doing lot of expenditure prudent fiscal management is nothing but a good fiscal management where we did not create outstanding liabilities to a huge okay a scale we have able to manage the receipts and expenditure in such a way that we did not go into the debt trap also and we did not allow the pandemic to impact us also so that's why we followed a very good fiscal management so this is a second point and because of the pandemic and before that you might be knowing that whenever a constable or a si stops you while you are driving your bike and ask you to drive uh, give you dri driving license what do you do generally you will take out your mobile phone and show him the license and rc on rta wallet right or wrong so before the pandemic only the government of telangana has actually taken lot of e governance initiatives because of this e governance initiatives t wallet we are having rta wallet we are having and also employment exchange deet app also we are having ts i pays is completely online so because of this uh, pre planned and proactive measures taken by the government of telangana uh, to deliver the government services at the doorsteps with the help of what internet okay during the pandemic everyone was able to get the services because everything was on internet we don't actually need to go to the offices and get the services that is the third important thing that we have done 
फोर्थ वन इज फोकस्ड वेलफेयर इनिशिएटिव ओके द सेक्टर्स विच आर वेरी वनरेबल लाइक एग्रीकल्चर द सेक्टर्स विच आर वेरी वनरेबल लाइक वीविंग सेक्टर द सेक्टर्स विच आर वेरी वनरेबल लाइक एलाइड सेक्टर्स ओके द सेक्टर्स विच आर वेरी वनरेबल लाइक एम एस एम ई सेक्टर्स ओके वेन बिकॉज दीज सेक्टर्स आर वनरेबल इफ एनी डिजास्टर कम्स नो दे ऑल विल गो डाउन टू ए वेरी लार्ज एक्सटेंट ओके सो वॉट गवर्नमेंट ऑफ तेलंगाना हैज डन बिफोर पैंडमिक इट सेल्फ द फोकस्ड अप्रोचेस हैज बीन देयर फॉर हॉर्टिकल्चर इनिशिएटिव लाइक पॉली हाउसेज और ग्रीन हाउसेज फॉर वीवर वीवर कोऑपरेटिव वीवर फाइनेंशियल असिस्टेंस ओके हैंडीक्राफ्ट हैंडलूम सेक्टर्स इज प्रॉपरली प्रमोटेड देयर आसरा पेंशन स्कीम इज ऑल्सो एक्सटेंडेड टू वीवर्स लाइक दैट एम एस एम ई टी प्राइ टी आइडिया एक्सेट्रा सो ऑलरेडी टू टू मेक दी एम एस एम ई इफ दे आर इन ए ट्रबल तेलंगाना स्टेट हेल्थ क्लिनिक प्राइवेट लिमिटेड ऑल्सो हैज बीन एस्टेब्लिश टू टेक केयर ऑफ वॉट प्रॉब्लमेटिक एम एस एम एस ओनली सो दिस ऑल हैज बीन एस्टेब्लिश बिफोर पैंडमिक सो वॉट हैज हैपन बेसिकली नाउ गवर्नमेंट ऑफ तेलंगाना हैज एक्चुअली फोकस्ड ऑन दी सेक्टर्स विच आर वेरी वेलरेबल बिफोर द पैंडमिक ओनली दैट इज द रीजन दीज वाट सेक्टर्स हैज शोन रेजिलियंट इवेंट टू दी पैंडमिक एंड डिड नॉट गो डाउन वेरी बैडली सो दीज आर दी फोर थीम्स ऑफ दी इकोनॉमिक सर्वे बाई विच वी वर एबल टू फाइट द पैंडमिक राइट द इयर ट्वेंटी ट्वेंटी वन टू ट्वेंटी ट्वेंटी टू वॉज वन ऑफ द इकोनॉमिक रिवाइवल इयर ओके सो तेलंगाना इज हैविंग वॉट वी शेप्ड इकोनॉमिक रिकवरी वी शेप्ड इकोनॉमिक रिकवरी वॉट डज इट मीन वी शेप्ड इकोनॉमिक रिकवरी मीन्स ओके राइट सी this is you take into consideration this is a time period this is a time period and this is a growth rate of economy <laughs> growth rate of economy the chart relates to telangana theek hai the chart relates to telangana a hypothetical example i am giving you this is like uh, january 2020 february 2020 all 2020 only march 2020 may 2020 april 2020 june 2020 This is a growth rate like zero percent growth rate, two percent growth rate, four percent, six percent, eight percent, tenth per ten percent growth rate of Telangana economy. Now it is very very nice that we are happily growing at the growth average growth rate of ten percent. Right or wrong? Yes. So ten percent we are happily growing. January we grown at ten percent. February we have grown at ten percent. March twenty fourth till up to twenty fourth. What happened? The Modi ji has announced what lockdown. The moment lockdown was announced, as you know that no economic activity, no production happened. Production did not happen. The slowly, 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 what happened? March, April, May, the economy has gone down to like this, near zero, almost near zero. Okay, national economic growth was negative. At least we were having at that time positive. That is why we say that. we are a resilient economy means we did not go down to that bottom level we were able to sustain ourselves what above zero right then when the unlock 1 unlock 2 this kind of uh, okay announcement were made so uh, india also and telangana also fastly we have grown in a v shaped this is called as v shaped economic growth rate this is the fastest economic growth rate remember this point for any economy in the world v shaped growth rate is the best growth rate suppose if the process is little bit slow down okay process is little bit slow down instead of like this it became like this it took lot of time lot of time this is a time period not lot of time this is called as u shaped economic growth rate this is v shaped so u shaped economic growth rate is the second best scenario for any economy affected by a disaster like a pandemic you should be the second best we is the best one okay then over a period of time what have we imagined what have we got okay remember this point over a period of time what has happened <laughs> then some sectors are growing like this another scenario okay some sectors of telangana and india is also also showing what upward trend some sectors are still lagging here still lagging like this only 
okay this becomes our k shaped this is called as what k shaped economic recovery means in k shaped economic recovery what will happen some sectors will show v shaped growth some sectors are lagging behind this is called as k shaped this is india is experiencing right now first of all we went higher at v we realized telangana india realized v then all of us are realizing now k right so in but k effect is very very less okay right so fine now you can see here our economy has rebounded and telangana has achieved a v shaped recovery curve and uh, curve and i have also explained to you what is v what is u what is k shaped k shaped recovery curve now the data is very important for any examination i don't have to tell you this okay this is for two years i have taken this is for telangana this box is for telangana this box is for india this is 2020 to 2021 this is 2021 to 2022 okay these two boxes are related to 2020 to 2021 current prices constant prices 2021 to 2022 again current prices and constant prices remember this point okay so two years data i have taken so this is the economic growth rate during the pandemic period right or wrong yes 2020 was a pandemic or not so telangana has recorded what 2.2 i told you that it is near zero 2.2 we recorded so we were resilient with india recorded what minus 1.4 so we performed better than india's average during pandemic okay in the current prices in the constant prices knowing that you know the concept of current and uh, constant prices or nominal and, uh, and real prices if you are aware of these concepts then you can understand i guess you have studied in your static knowledge okay then when we saw the growth rate of uh, telangana and indian economy during the pandemic saw the growth rate of telangana and indian economy during the pandemic at the base year prices nothing but constant prices both are in negative but here also we you see here also we see we went to what from that to we went to minus 3 only but india went to what minus 6 so again we are resilient here again we are resilient so remember one point if you get a statement that during the pandemic telangana has recorded positive growth rate both at current and constant prices means wrong statement because only at uh, current prices telangana recorded positive growth rate whereas in the base year prices telangana recorded negative growth rate okay you should remember what is the growth rate exam important for ex examination and comparatively telangana performed better than india's average in both the cases that is 2020 to 2021 now the latest one 2021 to 2022 telangana economy at constant prices grew by 11.2% real okay uh, current prices 19.1 whereas when compared to india india at constant prices grown by 8.9 at current prices 9.5 19.5 now remember here one point at constant prices telangana has grown better than india whereas in nominal prices telangana has grown lesser than india okay so a current prices or nominal prices telangana's economic growth rate is 19.1 whereas of india's average is 19.5 so 0.4 percent difference uh, deficit we are having so telangana india is performing better than telangana in compared to what uh, current prices where telangana is performing better than india when compared to constant prices of the year 2021 to 2022 right so this is a very important explanation that I have given to you. Now you see here Telangana stands first. Telangana stands first in terms of GSDP growth rate. 14.7% in 2020 to 2021. Followed by Madhya Pradesh. Very very important. Okay. Telangana stands first. Okay. In terms of growth rate in pandemic. Okay. Overall growth rate in pandemic. Now per capita income, this is not there in the survey. I have taken from the, uh, what, um, in survey, it is just mentioned about per capita income. 
but uh, not actually given the data all of this data is not there i have taken from times of india this is the times of india news okay nominal per capita income means present per person average earning in telangana is around 2.79 lakh rupees every one of us in telangana on an average if we do the income average income of all the telanganaites by the total population of telangana if you do every one of us is earning minimum 2.79 lakh rupees per year it is higher than india of how many times in 1.86 times national higher than national average if we take the india's average it is coming to 1.50 and we are at 2.79 so we are doing good when you see the compound annual growth rate of per capita income of telangana okay our telangana is performing from 2014 to 2020-21 means from the date of state formation to the latest economic survey compound average growth rate means year on year year on year how much per capita income we are adding okay from 2014 to 2021 from 2014 to 2021 year on year how much increase in the per capita income we are adding in this also telangana is doing well than india second statement third statement is very beautiful statement in india on an average a person's income will double okay for every 7 to 8 years like every 8 to 9 years like i am earning now 10000 rupees 10000 will become 20000 after 8 or 9 years in india if we take the india's average this is how the income is doubling per capita income is doubling whereas in telangana the income of an individual is doubling within what within 5 to 6 years okay it means in telangana high income jobs are there okay people are getting what more money here in telangana that's why we are able to add a double of our present income within what 5 to 6 years whereas india's average is how much 8 to 9 so we are doing better third statement okay this is the in income we are 2.7 like better than india compound annual growth rate better than india and also in case of what doubling we are better than goa stand first in case of per capita income in the country goa on an average per person in goa is earning 4.91 lakhs okay followed by sikkim and telangana ranks third very important telangana ranks third in terms of what per capita income whereas in growth rate per capita income okay growth rate of per capita in telangana ranks second telangana ranks what second remember this point theek okay? hai now fiscal and budget again a very important one <coughs> fiscal and sorry fiscal and budget telangana is better insulated from pandemic due to considerable share of own tax revenue in the total revenue receipt now imagine this proper situation you guys have to give me 50000 okay and uh, my home is there no like just imagine my home is there family of let us suppose five members we are there okay you guys have to give me not exactly like this let us reframe our example in a proper way my family is there family of five members is there it requires 1 lakh rupees per month okay inclusive of rent uh, transportation maid cook i am not talking about normal things but i want to go to that particular 1 lakh rupees everything family of five members education insurance health etc 1 lakh rupees is required <laughs> right now what is important here the 1 lakh rupees my family required no you guys have to actually give me money i am actually earning some part of 1 lakh and you are also earning you are also giving me some part of the income okay for in that 1 lakh i am earning some and you are earning some i am earning some part of the income and you are earning some part and you are giving me imagine the situation it means what you and me both together are actually contributing 1 lakh and 1 lakh is important for the well being of my family now suppose in which situation i will be better off 
in which situation I will be better off. Situation number one, you are contributing more for my well-being. Okay, out of one lakh, you are giving me eighty thousand, and I am contributing twenty thousand. This is one situation. Second situation is I am actually contributing eighty thousand, and you are giving me twenty thousand. This is a second example. First example is you are giving me eighty thousand. I am earning twenty thousand and one lakh, good for my family. Second situation, I am earning eighty thousand. You are giving me twenty thousand. Then again one lakh, well-being, good for my well-being or not? Yes. In which case I will be stable. Okay, lot of students might have told the answer, sir. When you are earning eighty thousand, no, you are more stable because you, because you means we, you can any time can not contribute. There will be a problem in your business, so you cannot give me eighty thousand. And if you don't give me eighty thousand, I cannot uh, uh, look after my family, right? If I am earning more and I am contributing more, so my family will not go into a trouble or not? Yes. This is what the Telangana government is also saying here. Telangana government is saying very clearly. Okay, we are very happy in pandemic. Why? Why we are happy? Okay, because central government is anyhow not giving us much in our total whatever we are doing in Telangana. How much uh, money we are actually doing the expenditure? Majority, majority of that expenditure, whatever we are doing in Telangana is coming from our own, from our own tax revenues. Means when you earn more, you will be more stable or not? Yes. That is what the Telangana government is sending a message that uh, we are a resilient economy. You are giving us less also. Doesn't matter. We are a very good state. We are able to generate lot of taxes. Okay, and lot of revenues, and we are able to develop on our own. Okay, from 2017 to 20, the state-owned tax revenues, state-owned tax revenues includes state-owned tax and non-tax, 73.8 percent. Means out of 100 percent of expenditure done in Telangana, almost 74 percent of the revenues are generated from own tax revenues, greater than all India average. All India average. If we take the states are able to contribute 57, and central government is giving what rest 32 or 43, whatever it is. But Telangana is having its own tax revenue of 74 percent, very minimum. The Telangana central government is contributing. Okay, Telangana has also recorded the highest compound annual growth rate in own tax revenue in a uh, revenue of around 18.2 percent. Okay, compound annual growth rate. When compared to collection of revenues, okay, the growth rate in revenues from 2014 since the time of state formation till the latest economic survey, okay, Telangana tax revenues are increasing with higher growth rate, okay, of around on an average around 18.2 percent, which is also highest in the country itself. Means our tax revenues are also increasing at a faster pace. Along with that, along with that, okay, we are adding, uh, we are doing our expenditures on our own. Okay, in the majority area. Fine. Then, then people ask, so what new you have done? How are you getting more revenues, tax revenues? Then Telangana government said very clearly that we have removed corruption, and our commercial tax department there the employees are doing very wonderfully. It seems our commercial tax department officers are doing very good. That is the reason doubling of GST tax base happened in our Telangana. 2.118 lakh crore became what 4.89 lakh crore. Okay, compared to the earlier VAT regime, earlier regime we are getting less, but in GST we are getting more. Our commercial tax departments uh, workers are doing, employees are doing very very well and has increased almost double our okay tax revenues. And government of Telangana has also revised the land and stamp duty. Okay, prices rates has also been increased. That is the reason Telangana is able to get what more revenues. Okay, when we see that this is the revenue part. Now let us see the expenditure part. Telangana share of developmental expenditure. Developmental expenditure is economic expenditure, social expenditure. Economic expenditure is nothing but for agriculture purpose, for the transportation purpose, for the industry purpose. Social means for education purpose, for sanitation purpose, for public health purpose. Okay, these kind of expenditures are called as developmental expenditure. Suppose expenditure done on administrative services. 
like a phone bill ex uh, a phone bill and the petrol of the vips etc that is non developmental expenditure because that will not bring any development in the society these expenditures are called as developmental expenditure more so ever even our defense expenditure is there you no know, we buy rafael we buy okay we manufacture agni we buy uh, a lot of uh, drones uh, harup okay heron we buy so these are all defense expenditure is there non developmental expenditure in the same way then development expenditure is good or non developmental expenditure is good sir developmental expenditure is good okay so developmental expenditure of telangana is 77.4% out of the total expenditure that telangana is doing 77 almost like 75% is okay expenditure is going on development which is again highest than all india average all in the average they are doing 68 all the states together they are doing only 68% of expenditure are development but in telangana we are doing 77 good and capital expenditure is almost nearly 2.82 lakh crore almost 1/4 of the total gsdp our gsdp is around 11 lakh crore so in that 11 lakh let us suppose it is like <laughs> 11 lakh crore so we are contributing 3 3 lakh crore is given in what capital expenditure capital is nothing but building of ses zones development of ses uh, infrastructure development of uh, kakatiya mega textile park okay development of what genome valley development of an infrastructure of t hub t work t fiber right this all asra pension scheme then right to bandhu all these are what developmental expenditures only okay so when a uh, asra pension scheme does not come under capital expenditure transportation metro inner ring road outer ring road these are all what capital expenditure only means when the expenditure is done to produce a asset to produce a asset whether it is a health whether it is a clinic whether it is a hospital whether it is a university whether it is a road whether it is a metro whether it is a power plant whether it is a industrial corridor whether it is a ses zone so expenditure done to create a asset is called as capital expenditure so one fourth of our budget has been utilized for capital expenditure it is a very great thing okay so expenditure we are doing good developmental we are doing good and more expenditure again going towards capital creation of capital assets then comes liabilities means how much borrowed money revenues we have learned about revenues in the last slide we got expenditure now the question here is 100 rupees you got 100 rupees expenditure have you done or 100 rupees you got 120 rupees expenditure have you done 100 rupees you got 150 rupees expenditure have you done it means are you in deficit are you in surplus means 100 rupees you got 120 rupees expenditure you have done it means 20 rupees is deficit means this 20 rupees you might have borrowed from your friend or somebody else or not yes right this is what it is or else 100 rupees you got you did the expenditure of only 80 rupees so you are plus 20 So nothing but that is called as surplus. Here no budget will be surplus. Remember this point. Go on case. Okay, all these states, majority of the states will go under what deficit only. Deficit financing is a good thing. But the thing is that you should not go more deficit financing. Small near percentage deficit financing is good. Okay, so whether the Telangana government is borrowing some money or not? Yes, we are borrowing. Obviously, we have to buy. Okay, so what are our liabilities? Liabilities, if you see. From this three year, two thousand seventeen to twenty period, the total outstanding liabilities of Telangana are stood at twenty two point three three percent of GSDP, which is five point four percentage points less than the All India average. Less than the All India average means in liabilities also Telangana is performing better. Value is important. okay this is all about uh, the gsdp and per capita income and our whatever the values we have seen now let us go ahead with what they have discussed in agriculture of okay agriculture in chapter number 1 telangana agriculture and allied sector is always on upward part okay in the past 7 years we are happily here okay and we are increasing growth rate is increasing by 9.75 percentage points between 2014 state formation year to till today telangana agriculture and allied sectors are increasing by 9.75 percentage point very important 
Agriculture, if you see at current prices, okay, GVA of 12.24% in 2021, 2021 to 2022, it contributed 9.90%. Okay, increase decrease is there, but does not matter. Why? Because this is a very good growth rate when compared to before formation, after formation, these are the good numbers. So agriculture growth rate at current prices in 2020 to 2021 is this much. 2021 to 2022 is this much. Okay. Then Raitu Bandhu was discussed in the economic survey. Raitu Bandhu scheme has crossed milestones of rupees 50,000 crore rupees has, has done the, we have done the expenditure. So all the students who are watching me, please write the uh, salient features of Raitu Bandhu in the comment section. Okay. And in which year it is started? and uh, where it is started which area sadasiv nagar it is started or uh, it is started in gadwal so area who who did it area year money okay how many times money will be given applicable money to home large farmers small farmers who who will be the beneficiaries of this all this we have to tell in the comment section the Aitu bandhu scheme has crossed the mile, milestone 50000 crore rupees of uh, what money has spent in this particular scheme it is equal to 50,000 crore rupees is almost equal to the national expenditure on Manarega scheme national expenditure on what Manarega scheme so eight seasons we have done okay 2018 this scheme was launched I will I am telling you from 2019 to till today eight seasons happened and 50,000 crores almost we have spent on it 63 lakh farmers got benefited okay then under right to bandhu obviously the government will uh, when farmers grow the crops government will procure because they have to do that balamrutam mission is there icds mission is there midday meal skin extra money extra uh, uh, rice they are procuring even sanna bm is given to the degree graduates also residential schools also we have got or not residential schools also we have got bc welfare minority welfare tribal welfare residential schools are there coaching institutes are there there also rice is coming right or wrong Yes, so to supply rice to all of that, government also need to procure, government also need to buy, yes. So government procured around 2 point, uh, sorry, 252.4 lakh metric ton of paddy and 39.5 lakh metric ton of cotton at minimum support price. Minimum support price is announced by central government. Okay, and uh, minimum support prices are not given for not given for all crops they are given for selected crops 24 crops we are having okay minimum this the crop has to be supported with this price that is called as minimum support price so that the farmer should not get loss okay so the prices of the crop, crops are fixed by the government only on the recommendation of commission on agriculture price cost and prices c a c p commission on agriculture cost and prices so this particular commission will recommend okay paddy should be taken at 1200 or 1400 etc they will recommend central government will announce now dominance of subset subsector in agriculture sector we have seen the growth rate we saw that it is going in upward trend 9.72 percentage points increasing and we saw that raitu bandhu is also being implemented and we saw that government also procured now what is the dominance of subsector within the agriculture sector you might be aware of this fact that mining and quarrying is there okay livestock is also there uh, forestry and logging fish, uh, fisheries and aquaculture these four subsectors are mentioned in our economic survey right so growth of about 27 percent in pro, uh, paddy procurement happened livestock population growth of 22.21 percent between the 19th and 20th uh, livestock census this livestock census means how many sheep are there how many buffaloes are there how many pigs are there how many goats are there etc that is called as what livestock census livestock census is conducted by central government the last one was 2012 it was conducted the latest one was conducted in 2019 so in 2012 if suppose in telangana 100 live animals were there by 2019 22 percent increase happened means 122 live animals are there live animals which are useful for the mankind useful for the mankind so in livestock also we have seen the population growth rate of around 22.21 percent the state has been leading the growth in the livestock population in the country this is a this growth rate is a leading growth rate means we are ranking number one with respect to the livestock population growth rate okay 
Now, crop diversification is also very important. Government of Telangana is not only asking the farmers to go only for crop, paddy wheat, paddy wheat, cotton, paddy wheat, cotton. Government of Telangana is also saying that, boss, we need to also conserve the soil. We need to expand our okay, agricultural crops. We cannot just rely on all of this. So that's why government of Telangana is giving a push to crop diversification. And they are focusing on oil palm, which is a very remunerative, very cash crop. Okay, so oil palm mission ambitious oil palm mission thousand crore rupees is also given in the present budget okay so in the next few years the uh, minister the minister in charge of the agriculture he said in the assembly that in the next few years he did not mention that within four year or five year he did not mention he just said that the government is planning to increase the oil palm oil palm mission okay and the area should be around uh, 20 lakh acre area of Telangana 20 lakh acre area of Telangana we should be growing only what oil palm okay that is the target okay and thousand crore rupees is also given in the budget in 2022 to 2023 okay the Raitu Bhima was launched in 2018 remember one point here Raitu Bandhu Raitu Bandhu scheme is a farmer investment support scheme means when Kharif season starts farmer does not have any money okay that's why the government of Telangana will give some money okay so farmer will invest in the agricultural production purpose and he will reap the benefits after the harvesting so Raitu Bandhu is a farmer financial investment support scheme Raitu Bhima is a farmer welfare scheme farmer welfare scheme means if the farmer dies his family or her family will get will get a amount of money okay that is i guess that is 5 lakh rupees is given if farmer dies the head of the family member dies no of the farmer 5 lakh rupees is given launch in the year 2018 okay financial relief and social security given to the dependents of the farmer in case of loss of the farmer's life due to any reason any reason is important here basically in upsc we'll do this stuff okay any all large small only incorrect correct these are very very important that is the reason those who are watching group 2 students you should actually prepare on the level of upsc that is how you are going to crack the exam of group 2 the questions will not be tough but the questions will have multiple statements so you have to be very 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 perfect in your facts then only it is possible if you are not good in facts it's very very hard to get through this examination okay and uh, under this suppose if i have taken a life insurance okay you know that if you have taken a life insurance, just ask your dad or sister or brother who are working in life insurance lic life insurance is there if you are taking that insurance you have to pay some amount okay monthly or yearly you have to pay some amount so you can like if you uh, like if an individual happens to die their family will get, get this much amount whatever we pay no in insurance or pension we call it as premium whatever we pay in insurance or pension we call it as premium under this scheme in Raitu Bhima scheme the farmer does not have to pay even one single rupee okay the complete premium etc everything is borne by what b-o-r-n-e not b-o-r-n b-o-r-n-e borne by government of Telangana 5 lakh rupees government of Telangana will give to the deceased families farmer okay that is all about agriculture now let us see with regard to industry okay Industry sector in Telangana experienced very, very sadness, okay, at a time of pandemic. Industry sector is the only sector that has recorded negative growth rate during the pandemic. Overall, 2.2 growth rate we got in positive. Agriculture service contributed, so we got in positive in pandemic, 2.2. Okay, but uh, within the total G, uh, like agriculture, within the total economy, industry sector has recorded negative okay and industry sector next year in pandemic it went negative but in the next year it just rebounded like anything and we have got around 20.23 percent of growth rate so industrial sector has given a good push okay ts high i pass very very important telangana state industrial project approval cell certification system okay zero to like basically one to thirty days is a time bound time bought industrial licensing right to get a Industrial licensing law has been made by the Telangana government first of its kind in what India so details of that I have already discussed in the sir in your economic classes <laughs> TSI pass has stabilized 
थ्री थाउजेंड वन एटी फाइव अप्रूवल्स अकाउंटिंग इन्वेस्टमेंट अबाउट डबल द इन्वेस्टमेंट ओके वी हैव गॉट टिल जनवरी ट्वेंटी ट्वेंटी टू राइट देन प्रधानमंत्री स्वानिधि योजना लॉन्च इन जून ट्वेंटी ट्वेंटी तेलंगाना बिकेम द फर्स्ट इन द कंट्री टू अचीव इट्स टारगेट ऑफ डिस्ट्रीब्यूटिंग लोन्स टू अराउंड थ्री पॉइंट फोर लैक स्ट्रीट वेंडर्स ओके सो पैंडमिक हैपन इन मार्च अप्रैल मे जून सो इन मार्च अप्रैल मे फ्रॉम जून ऑनवर्स अनलॉक स्टार्टेड वेन अनलॉक स्टार्टेड मीन दिस पारीपुरी बंडी वाला दिस मैकेनिक ओके दिस लाइक स्ट्रीट वेंडर्स लाइक फ्लावर पर्सन फ्लोरिस पर्सन राइट अरंग दिस यू कैन सी दैट इटली दोषा पैंडमिक इज देयर नो मनी इज देयर विद दम थ्री मंथ देर सिटिंग इन होम एंड जस्ट गोइंग एंड टेकिंग द रेशन सो वेन द पैंडमिक गॉन unlock started they have to go in the market and start doing their business or not then where is the money 10000 15000 20000 money should be there to start a pani puri bandi or etli center back again or not yes so that is why government of india has launched a scheme called as pradhan mantri swanidhi yojana okay under this yojana street vendors will be given fi uh, financial assistance of 10000 rupees or 20000 rupees like that okay and government of telang uh, central government told to the all the governments that up to we are all the all the state governments are given a target that these many people you should give loans under this yojana we have given it we have given it right <laughs> special micro credit micro means chota chota credit dena hai 10000 rupees ka okay for street vendors up to 10000 term loan ek saal mein de dena har mahina 1000 rupees do 12 महीने हज़ार रुपये मिले आठ सौ रुपये दो 12 महीने और इनसे इंटरेस्ट सब्सिडी भी मिलेगा यू विल गेट व्हाट इंटरेस्ट सब्सिडी आल्सो मल्ली इधर ऑनलाइन ट्रांजैक्शन डिजिटल ट्रांजैक्शन फोन पे जी पे आला जेस कुंड बोलते इनका मेरे को कैशबैक्स कुड़ा वस्ता यंटा अंडे तेन तेन थाउजेंड रु Pandemic did very bad. After that, recovered. TSI pass doing wonderful. Then we have learned about Pradhan Mantri Swanidhi Yojana. That is all there in the chapter number one of Economic Survey Overview. Now, what is doing in service sector? So, agriculture we have done, industry we have done. Now we are seeing seeing what service sector. Now, just imagine service sector will grow or not grow? Yes, it will grow. Why? Because you know that. Achievers Academy has gone online or not? Yes, many are such. So, tele education. Telehealth, everything is tele, tele, tele. So obviously, information technology or ICT information communication technology comes under service sector. So all of that, Netflix, okay, uh, this Amazon, all that has been what they got lot of money. The service sector witnessed a remarkable growth rate. Pandemic also it grew at eight point three two percent. Okay, and uh, <coughs> so, sorry. In pandemic, it grew at 0.91 percent, and after that year, it just grow like anything, 18.32 percent. IT sector did very good within the service sector. IT sector was remarkable. Telangana investment promotion and policy. Okay, according to this particular policy, doubling of IT exports from 66,000 to 1 lakh 45,000 crore. Employment in IT sector should increase from 3 lakh 70, uh, 3 lakh 71,000 to 6 lakhs means. Employment should double almost and uh, export should double. That is what the Telangana investment promotion policy has said in IT sector. Okay. This evidence is success because of, see, this doubling happened and employment also doubling happened from 2014 to pandemic. 2014 to pandemic, exports double, employment double in IT sector. It means what? ICT policy one of 2016. Government of Telangana has launched ICT policy of Telangana in 2016. The first ICT policy, ICT 1.0. 1.0. We also have ICT 2.0. Recently launched 2021 to 2026. This is ICT 2.0. This is ICT 1.0. Okay. So 2014 to 2020, exports of IT doubled, employment doubled. The ICT policy one came in what? 16 means the it is this doubling of export and employment is the 
clear example that ICT policy one has done very good. The second ICT policy has also got some objectives. Then tourism, the Ramapa temple and Pochampali village gained worldwide recognition as a UNESCO World Heritage Site. Okay, and UNWTO Best World Tourism Village in 2021. Very important. Please remember this. Okay, then systematic improvements in service delivery as you know that through improved emphasis on public goods like health, safety, nutrition, education, water, Telangana has ensured that every individual in the state is getting what access to high quality basic services like electricity high quality in electricity means 24 into 7 electricity is coming no high voltage low voltage uh, monday is not coming electricity tuesday is coming wednesday not coming it's not like that is not called as quality quality electricity means all the days all the time same amount of electricity is being what given to you in the same way water supply in the same way, transportation, in the same way, e-governance. So, slowly, government of Telangana has able to give all the services of high quality to each and every individual of Telangana state. Achievements, if you see, in health sector, in health sector, institutional births, don't make your baby born in the home. If you deliver your baby in any health institution, whether it is a public whether it is a private doesn't matter but you have to deliver the baby in a under the guidance of a doctor you can say like that private or public hospital if you are delivering the baby instead of your home then it is called as institutional births so telangana institutional births have increased from 91.5 percent to 97 percent very very good means now all our women are very much aware they got awareness and uh, if you deliver the baby in home, KCR kit you will not get. If you deliver the baby in hospital, no, KCR kit will get. And pink color sari also, uh, sari will also get to you. Right? That is a little bit of motivation and little bit of incentive. And all that Bal Amrutam program will also be applicable to you. So some very good initiatives are taken by the government of Telangana. So that the uh, women should get encouraged to deliver their baby in the institution. Okay, births in government hospital increased from 30 to 49 percent according to National Family Health Survey 4 to 5. In the fourth family health survey, births in government hospital was only 30 percent. Fifth survey says that births in government hospital is 49.7 percent. This shows that Telangana government is doing very awesome in health sector. Means Basti Dawakhanas, right or wrong, we are having. Patana Dawakhanas, also we are having. So, rural areas, wellness centers, urban areas, health centers, like the Dawakanas has been also open. Means, Gali Gali also we are, cons uh, we are actually uh, what establishing this health institution. Obviously, the women will go and deliver or not? Yes. In contrast to a population share of 2.8%, Telangana share of overall COVID-19 cases in the country was nearly only 1.8%. Though our population is 2.8%, in total share of the COVID cases, ours is only 1.8% means we have taken very good measures to keep the people inside the home and not let them go out and spread what? Coronavirus. Okay. And in the share of deaths, in overall deaths in Telangana because of COVID. Okay. In overall deaths in India because of COVID, Telangana, from Telangana side, uh, we are contributing only 0.8%. Means you can understand that those who got affected with the COVID also, Telangana government has taken a very good care of them. That's why TIMS was also established, Telangana Institute of Medical Sciences in Gachiboli. Okay, that was also uh, what established and uh, sports stadium actually that was converted into a uh, what a medical science institution where COVID patients were kept and where they were treated. So we have done very well with regard to prevent the number of COVID cases and also the people who got affected, we uh, protected them and very hardly we have seen what death rates. And with regard to the vaccination also 1.105% COVID vaccine coverage we have got and the second booster dose also we have got at 90% of the population is covered. So vaccination drive also we have done well. Okay, now if you see health infrastructure which was mentioned in our economic survey. Telangana government is giving a lot of push to the health infrastructure, health sector of the state. That is the reason they have to establish more number of doctors we require, more number of uh, institutions we require, right or wrong. So that's why Telangana government 
uh, eight new medical colleges in different areas of the states has been established with the capacity of 1200 mbbs seats you can understand that 1200 mbbs seats means every year 1200 mbbs doctors we will have in our society so all the students will be properly all the patients will be properly covered okay four new telangana institute of medical sciences and research institutes and super specialty hospitals are to be established warangal will be declared declared as a health city because it is going to have the largest health uh, largest hospital of telangana will be coming in uh, warangal only because uh, because you can say that uh, uh, it is having uh, government is investing around 1100 crore generally 100 crores are enough for a to build a iit or iim 100 crores are enough to build a iit or iim now we are building a hospital of 1100 crores means this amount is equal to the establishment of 10 iits and iims that is the reason this is going to be their super special world class okay uh, government hospital we will be having in future in warangal okay government of telangana has also achieved highest level of cleanliness and sustainability also 100 percent urban awards have door to dare urban wards have door to dare waste management collection facilities this is very true because in our locality also that uh, municipality vehicle will come they will put all that katra in the drum they will take the drum okay they will clear it and they will give us back so door to door collection is there 100 percent at least in our urban wards okay and telangana has achieved what hyderabad hyderabad has retained its status of open defecation free plus plus tag and also declared as water plus city very very important which one of the following district has been declared as water plus city in telangana according to the economic survey 2022 like that they will ask you so your answer will be what hyderabad okay goal number 11 of sustainable development goals focuses on providing access to safe public places okay means the public places which are not having crime which are not having what any kind of criminal activities safe public places to women to move in the night in the day okay during in the bus stops wherever they are standing okay on the footpaths so women are feeling very very safe in our Hyderabad state why because we have got which teams we have got she teams right so public places railway station bus stops okay and wherever the addas are there where the people hang out all that uh, necklace road etc so and so forth all of them are what now safe we can move so we have even covered the goal number 11 of sustainable development goals which says that government should have a mechanism where they will ensure safe public places for the people okay now kcr kit was launched in the year 2017 okay mothers are provided with a financial assistance of 12,000 for the boy 13,000 for a girl child i don't understand that what what is this promo like what kind of this motivation for a woman okay uh, because for a mother i don't think so that boy or girl matter okay it is only the husband and the uh, the uh, what i say is the in-laws they are more interested in this particular thing but nowadays if you just see girl and boy has no difference at all biological difference apart from that they are too good too talented okay too proactive and they are actually hand in hand uh, i have seen some uh, like um, my, my friends who are like, like got married the wives are contributing more in the income than what males that situation is there at this point of time okay with uh, taking care of the child taking care of the husband and also contributing more to the income so there is no problem in having a girl child it will be a bonus only because the money will not go here and there at least this guy will do something with it okay here and there 10 20 percent he will live on his like luxuries but girl will not do so it's a bonus only to have a girl child because you will get a lot of money out of it okay fine so for a mother doesn't matter obviously so mothers are provided with this kind of financial assistance after delivery they receive a kcr kit of 15 items are important my dear students remember how many items are there okay i have given the list of items here mosquito net very very important i was really impressed by the thought of the mr kcr that he is giving a mosquito net because we do also have right in our home like baby is there means like a mosquito net will be there small one we can just put and we can just remove it very important okay protect the baby from a lot of like here you are having a uh, lot of diseases baby mask cap dress is there two towels napkins are there johnson baby baby powder 
baby shampoo, baby oil, baby soap, toys, kid bags, plastic buckets, two saris for mother. Okay, each sari will cost rupees 350. <laughs> okay, so good amount. <laughs> 300, 400, 500, 600, 700, 800, 900, okay, 1000, 1100, 1300, 1400, 1500, 1600, almost around 2100 rupees of items are given and it is very good given in what kind if it is given in cash no the husband will snatch the 2000 and go and sit in bhatti and start drinking what start drinking what that that dash you know this right so giving in kind obviously will be utilized for the baby right then arogya lakshmi you also have it launch officially on 1st january 2015 by kcr sir one nutritional meal every day to the pregnant and lactating woman. Pregnant means before 9 months, before delivery. Lactating means after delivering. Okay, milk feeding mother is called as what? Lactating mother. Okay, so pregnant mother and uh, milk giving mother. Okay, milk feeding mother. Both mothers are covered. One nutritional meal will be given. Nutritious, carbohydrate, protein, lipid, fats and minerals all will be there. Fruits will also be there. And children below the age of 6 through Anganwadi. Go to Anganwadi center, have a meal properly and come. If you are having a children, child of less than 6 years, you also go, make, you also eat, child will also eat, come back again. You will be given a card, in that card you can have and you can come back. 200 ml of milk for 30 days will be given. Okay, a month and one egg each day will be given with the meal. So when you are having the meal, milk and egg will also be there have the nutritious food children age between 7 to 7 months to 3 years are provided with 16 eggs okay and 2.5 kg of food packet for children below between 3 and 6 years one egg in addition to rice dal vegetables and snacks this scheme 50 percent is shared by central government 50 percent is shared by the state government so very please remember all these statements don't think that this is not required this is not required. This is not required. It is you should never do selective reading. Kabi nahi karna. Jo hum bolte wo properly aap karo. That is enough. Okay. So don't ever do selective reading because you lose marks. Every point could be a question as a statement in your examination. Then environment. Telangana ku harita haram. Okay. The major objective is what to increase the forest cover in Telangana from 24 percent to what 33 percent. And the target is to plant 350 crore saplings. Okay, we have to plant. 10% of the budget of urban local bodies is to be completely allocated only for the greenery purpose. Only for what? Greenery purpose. 10% of the budget. Then Palle Prakuti Vanam, dense forest type plus plantation have been established in almost around 19,472 gram panchayats and habitation. Bruhat Prakuti Vanam, this is in urban areas, scattered forest uh, plantation. So, urban, dense forest and scattered or urban forest, everything is covered. This is the Telangana ko Harita Haram, everywhere. Everywhere, this is urban, this is what? This is Palle, uh, this is a rural area. Patana means urban. So here we are having all the areas are covered. Then education mana uru, mana badi, mana basti, mana badi. Initiative was launched in January 2022 to upgrade the infrastructure facilities. Mana uru, mana badi is a program related to imparting education to girls. Okay. Specialized program of education to minorities. Okay. Sanitation program, sanitation and hygiene program in school education system. Fourth one is Okay, developing infrastructure facilities. The fourth one is right. Like that, the question could be very, very tricky also. So, Mana Uru Mana Badi, the program is related to what? Development of infrastructure facilities in the schools. Objective is nothing but if benches are good, chairs are good, board is good, teachers are good, windows are good, toilets are good, garden is good, clean is there, neat is there, everything is good. Obviously, the children will be left to go into school or not. Yes. So, he will go back to the school again and again. That is only called as school student retention and uh, seeing that school also parents will be very happy wow the school is very good 
okay how nice the water facility is there dispenser is there and neat and clean is there okay i will send my children there right or wrong yes so state then during pandemic what happened state institute of education technology seat this is a central government body it works with all states whenever a state wants any education to be imparted online no they will help state institute of education technology remember this point so whenever a state government whether kerala state government telangana state government if they wanted to telecast wanted to telecast the lessons online then they will help they have done a wonderful job in transmitting digital lessons through doordarshan and tsat vidya classes okay society for this may not be uh, you cannot uh, it may not be visible to you but still i will read out so that uh, it will help you to understanding society for telangana state network we call it as softnet is an initiative from the department of it electronics and communication government of telangana to provide quality education by harnessing satellite communication under this softnet only we uh, uh, government of telangana is having a dedicated band called as gsat 8 satellite is there okay and uh, with the help of this gsat 8 satellite telangana is having what four channels are there tsat nipuna tsat vidya okay these tsat nipuna tsat vidya these two channels are working uh, in gsat 8 satellite and they are actually uh, they are actually imparting education on agriculture rural development telemedicine etc so and so forth okay social welfare dalit bandhu very very popular scheme at this point of time okay launch in 2021 okay <coughs> sorry launch in 2022 march telangana rashtra samiti years government has decided to implement dalit bandhu scheme in the remaining 118 assembly constituencies in the state okay i was right only before only it was first launch in 2021 only in selected districts in 2022 it is this scheme is extended to what all the districts okay hundred beneficiaries will be extended dalit bandhu by taking a family as a unit one family will get one the scheme was first launched at a place called as huzurabad assembly constituency in august 2021 it was launched this is what august 2021 it was launched in only in few selected districts after this program was successful in the remaining 118 assembly constituencies 2022 this particular uh, march 2022 announcement said that this scheme is going to be implemented in all the districts okay under this scheme every dalit family will get 10 lakh rupees happy 10 lakh rupees they will get right this is all about uh, uh, like uh, the first chapter that we have learned overview telangana economic survey or economic outlook 2022 chapter number 1 overview of the the total economic sector we have completed today all the other chapters are there with you do study well already two questions have come in group 1 prelims okay and the lectures whatever i have given you in that lectures the two questions were already asked from our notes only my explanation only so whatever we are covering everything will be there from our notes i am covering every tit bit of everything so you don't need to actually go for any other thing just make sure that you restrict yourself to whatever we are doing on achievers that is more than enough thanks a lot for hearing to me have a nice day bye bye take care all the best